Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to boot up the machine uh, using our new camera setup, uh, which hopefully will allow you to see more uh, realistically what it's like to actually operate the PDP-12. All right, hold on. So first thing we need to do is turn on the machine. And uh, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see my face, but that's not really the interesting part. Um, I'm going to be over uh, at the console plugging in the rim loader so that we can actually boot the machine. So the first thing we need to do is set the uh, addresses to 7756. Okay, 7756. This is an octal. And we're going to set the octal content to um, 6032. Now, I'm almost certainly going to make a mistake doing this. I, I almost always um, make a mistake. <coughs> so we'll fill. And you can see that it's 6. Um, oh, see, I've already made a mistake. This says 6732. Should be 6032. So I can hit fill again. And now it's 6032. Now, if I, uh, I could advance the, the addresses here manually and change this to um, 7757. Um, but what's easier is to do fill and fill step. So now the address is changed to 7757, so I don't have to change the address uh, switches over here. So now I want um, 6031. Okay, and then um, 53. Um, five seven and if I hold down the fill step I can see this five three five seven now it advances and the next is six zero three six six zero three six and then seven one zero six seven one zero six and next is seven zero zero Six, seven zero zero six, and then seven five one zero seven five one zero, and then five three five seven five three five seven, and then seven zero zero six seven zero zero six followed by 6031, 6031, followed by 5367, 5367, followed by 6034, 6034, and then um, 7420, 7420, Five six five three five six. Okay, now we do IO preset, and now our left switch is the network address is still or a network address, memory address is still seven seven five six, which is where we started, and then we're gonna uh, push the start left switches button here, and that's gonna start the program running at the address. Um, specified in the left hand switches um, but it seems like something's wrong because that doesn't look right no something's wrong okay so let's uh, use this to step through the program so if I go here I see 7756 and here I have 6032 exam step 6031 5357, 
7436 Okay, so that all looks correct. So what else am I doing wrong? Let's see. That's correct. We're oh. Looks like someone had us in eight mode in link mode. So this switch here switches between link mode, so the instructions are in link state uh, or link machine language, and this is eight uh, PDP eight machine language. This machine does both. So that was, I think, our problem. Let's find out. So yes, and see. So I'm not sure if this is visible from the camera or not, but this button says eight mode. This button says this light says link mode. So we needed to be in eight mode. So good. Now let's try to run the program. Uh, start left switches. Hmm. We're in eight mode. Reset. Start left switches. What is wrong? Six o three two. Yeah, that's all right. Unless some of did some of these other switches get reset today? Somebody was. Um, touching the machine earlier. These are all right. These should all be off, off, continue. I'm going to stop, start, IO preset. Now I'm going to, okay, now the program seems to be running. We can see the run light is lit. And you can see a bunch of these lights are sort of in a half on, half off state. That means the machine is waiting for input. Okay, so now let's go back here and we're gonna um, send, we're gonna transfer a file, which is the bootloader, uh, bootloader.rim. And you probably couldn't hear that, but I heard a little noise coming from the um, machine, which suggests that the bootloader was loaded. So I hit stop, IO preset again, go back to start, and um, now over here on the machine, I need to um, start the disk drive, which is should already be running, but I'm going to restart it just in case that matters. So this is our virtual disk um, system that's connected to the PDP-12 and it basically is pretending to be um, a hard disk over serial. Okay, so now what we should be able to do is um, hit start 20, which will try to boot the machine from address 20, which is where the bootloader.rim that we just loaded um, expects things to be. Okay, so let's give this a shot. And uh, if this works, then um, the machine will boot into OS 8. All right, and we see over here on the terminal, right up here, um, that in fact we do have a prompt, okay? So we've successfully booted um, the machine into uh, OS 8. So now we can do things like um, dir sdb, uh, Mm. dir uh, sdb1 and now it's going to uh, read the disk and print a listing for us good time for a coffee break oh good and this is our basic disk okay so um there's something I've been wanting to try for a while, um, which is, well, we'll see if this works. 
I have not done this before, so this is part of the, the intent behind setting up the cameras this way so that we could kind of like live stream trying things out on the system. All right. Now, <laughs> now I'm writing a program in basic, um, but I am not 100% sure how to do this. So um, let's just try this. Okay. This old chestnut. Oh no. So this is something that was happening to us uh, the other night when we were messing around with BASIC is uh, it would work and then it would kind of just hang the machine. Um, I really don't know why that's happening. I, I don't know if it's an issue with BASIC. Um, so there's a, an issue where the virtual disk system, okay, uh, this uh, virtual, uh, the virtual disk, uh, b some PDP-12 uh, programs uh, use an interrupt that causes, um, or some programs use an interrupt or rely on an interrupt that causes, um, that conflicts with this virtual disk. So if the virtual disk is running, um, it can hang the system. Now, uh, it seems like sometimes BASIC works and sometimes it doesn't. So uh, we don't really understand kind of the rhyme or reason for why um, this is happening. So what I'm going to try to do here is... Um, see if I can warm boot the system. Um, if I can't warm boot the system, and I think the basic interpreter breaks warm boot, if I can't warm boot the system, then we're going to have to be done for today, uh, and we'll have to try um, our, our favorite old chestnut um, later. Okay? So, um, oh, maybe this will work. Oh, okay. Let's try this. Huh. Okay. So it seems like it's not the interrupt issue because if it was the interrupt issue, the whole machine would have hung. So, so that's not the problem. Maybe actually um, it wouldn't have hung the whole machine now that I think about when we've experienced this issue. Now, I don't actually know if we have to end this command with um, anything, nor do I know um, how to um, end a line without a new line. So we're going to have to see how this goes. But it seems like it's trying to compile. We'll see what happens. Oh, uh, we got an error. M-E. So, um, what is that error? Oh, let's see. I see the print statement. Print statement, print expressions. Examples, print ABC, print strings, print number of years, semicolon. I probably, maybe I needed that semicolon. I don't know. I don't need a semicolon here, so we'll see. Um, but let's see, let's see what that error ME is. M-E, here we go. M-E, missing end statement. Okay. Let's see if this works.
<laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now, all right. Now I've got, I've got the, I've got the taste for it. I'm so glad that somebody um, put in the, the, uh, the text here. Okay. So I wonder, I wonder if this 10 print, oh, and it's, it's hung again. Huh. Yeah, I don't understand why that happens sometimes. Um, hmm. Well, next time we're going to figure out how to do print statements um, without a new line. Okay, so I'll read the manual and we'll give that a shot. Um, but uh, now I'm going to watch this video and see uh, just how bad the audio lag is. So that'll be interesting. All right. Um, if you ever see this, thank you for watching.